All right, so let's start. Um, my name is uh, Zaid Kudbali. Uh, I will teach uh, ENPM 605, Python applications for robotics. A little bit about me. I work uh, at the National Institute of Standards and Technology in NIST. Uh, I am leading the automated vehicles program. And I will, I will talk a little bit more about this. I, uh, I also co-lead the agility performance of robotic systems. And both of these projects and programs are at NIST. At UMD, I teach three courses over the year. 809Y during the fall, 605 spring, and 663 in spring. So my interests are in robot agility and automated vehicles. So robot agility, we at NIST, we focus on industrial robotics, knowledge representation, robot control, task planning, AI, um, and then for automated vehicles, um, the we're not doing any, we're not developing any new algorithms at NIST. So basically what I'm saying is that NIST is very good at uh, helping developing standards, performance evaluation. So you have, let's say, you have an, an automated vehicle. So by, by the way, automated vehicle here is the same thing as autonomous vehicle. We are calling it automated vehicle because SAE, Society of Automated Engineers, would like to remove this concept of autonomous vehicle from people mind, people's mind. When you think about autonomous vehicle for you, that would be a vehicle which can drive by itself, with no human inputs. But we're not there yet, uh, maybe in 20 years. So they would like us to use the term automated vehicle, right? So you have automated vehicle with level zero automation, which means uh, the vehicle cannot do much. Level one, level two, level three, level four, level five. Level five is the maximum. This is the future, uh, hopefully, where the vehicle can drive by itself. And if we reach this level five automation, you will eventually not see any uh, steering wheel in the vehicle because humans' inputs are not necessary. Okay. But when I say automated vehicles, I'm talking about autonomous vehicles. And I was saying that we measure the performance of automated or autonomous vehicles. You have companies saying that the vehicles are safe. What does it mean, safe? Safe for this company probably does not mean safe for this other company. So we would like to bring, uh, to create a standards where each company can test their vehicles and say it's safe based on these, uh, on these standards. So this is what we're doing. So this course is specifically designed for students who want to learn robotics with direct applications. We will focus on Python and its applications uh, with mobile robots. So you will need to perform small hands-on exercises in class to gain a deeper understanding of how the application of Python to ROS can be used in real-world challenges. This is a programming course, so you need to program. Uh, I'm not going to wait for you to program uh, until we get to assignments. I would like you to get practice um, with programming during each class. So you have some small exercises to do in class. Some of these exercises will count towards the next assignment. All right, so there's a final project. As I said before, this will be a group project. You will have multiple assignments, which will lead to this final project. These, uh, some of these assignments are to be done individually and some of them as a team. The final project will be a team project. And it will be about uh, using mobile robots uh, in gazebo, in a gazebo environment. Do you need robotics knowledge for this course? Uh, I think to answer the question, no. I will teach you many things uh, related to robotics. I will teach you frames, control, navigation, uh, and other aspects of robotics, mapping, for example. Do you need prior programming knowledge to take this course? No. Uh, if you want to start with a programming language, Python is the right one, and this course is about Python, so that's good.